Ask somebody, what's the biggest corporation in the world? They'll say uh, Google or Walmart or Exxon or something. But the biggest corporation in the world is the Federal Reserve System, right? And all the other corporations feed off the nipple of the Federal Reserve System. Well, it's like the Monopoly game. Uh, the bank always wins. It has unlimited money. It's not the people playing on the board. Exactly. The bank owns the board, the box, the, right. the and shelf it's sitting on. So, so but that's because you gave them the ability to make the money. You have to take that away from them. You take the bank away from the private bankers. Exactly. You have to take the creation of money away from the private bankers, and you'll solve 95% of your problems. Well, let me look at America. 10% growth rates every year like China's having right now. The U.S. had 10% growth rates until the Federal Reserve took over. And then if you look at that, it all starts really going downhill from there. And, and well, they destroyed the American worker. They, what they've done, here's what's happened. The, the Federal Reserve has created this massive inflation in America, which means that the American worker has to keep making more money to keep up uh, uh, with the cost of living. The more money they make to keep up with the cost of living, the less competitive they become in the world economy. So now what happens is we have to pay our workers so much to keep up with the cost of living, say, well, screw the American worker, let's go overseas now and get the cheap labor. But really, that's and a war being waged against the middle class. Of course The bankers listen. print the money. The, I mean, really, this is a war being waged against the middle class. The bankers print the money. Everything they're doing is about destroying any private pools of wealth or independence. Yeah, but, the, but the, what I'm trying to say is because of the inflation that they've created, the, they've now allowed other countries to outcompete us. You see, because other countries don't have to pay as much money as we have to pay here to our workers to survive. Yes. So now we're not competitive anymore. So we've lost our manufacturing base. We've lost our competitive. In the, in the old days, the American worker, you wanted to buy everything American. You wouldn't buy anything from Japan, which was cheap crap. And what does that leave us? It leaves America, this military force, and so the elites giving us a deal. We'll continue to build up your military and give you homeland security jobs, shift your economy over to being the bulldog enforcer of the New World Order. Exactly. You can either do, and, and by controlling the economy, they force everybody into that position. That's exactly correct. That's exactly correct. And we, 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 there's no more manufacturing here. We're a service economy. We do nothing. We provide nothing. We provide nothing to the rest of the world anymore. Well, first of all, Freedom to Fascism is a movie that everybody should see. Because we, 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 sh we show the fraud of the uh, income tax. We show how judges put people in jail for no reason. We, sh we show the corruption of the justice system. And we show how the Federal Reserve came into being and how it's controlling society. And, uh, the new, and how the, all the uh, central banks of the world are working together through the Bank of International Settlements in, in uh, Switzerland, uh, which is the central bank for all the central banks and how they all work together to create this one world government, the one world order, which is what they're trying to do. So uh, Freedom to Fascism is a movie just to get you a good basic education about how the world is really working. And I really want everybody to see that movie, critical. In terms of the uh, CFR, in terms of compartmentalization, I mean, there are many good people, I believe, that are part of these organizations who don't even understand what the organization's really about. People like, like when I was in Germany doing cancer treatment, uh, there was a gentleman there who was a, uh, visiting a friend of his who had cancer. And he was a member of the CFR. And uh, we were talking. And uh, I showed him the movie. He said, oh my God, I'm going to resign. I had no idea this was what, this, what CFR was about. He had no idea. He was just a nice guy who thought he was in this prestigious organization. Yeah, a lot of it's about getting good people and, and so you can watch them. Keep your friends close, your enemies close. Well, no, that no, wasn't even that. It was well, A lot of people join the CFR because they think it's a prestigious organization. <laughs> it'll, it'll help them in business, make good business contacts. They don't they didn't have an understanding that the CFR is really about world domination, about uh, you know how they and the Trilateral uh, Commission and the Bilderbergers all work together you know, the banks to control the people. They don't, a lot of them don't understand that. They don't see the big picture. Oh, it's CFR, it's a prestigious organization. I'll meet this one, I'll meet that one. I can do good business deals out of it. It's just business to them. And CFR wants to get the people in there that have influence and power, you know, and, 
so they're part of that. So they're, not, they're not opposing them, you know. It's like the, 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 whole, the whole country today is becoming the haves and have-nots. You're getting, you're getting the very, very wealthy, the middle class is being destroyed, and you're getting the poor people. Isn't this just a slick mafia that took over and, and, and uses fancy PR? Well, my, you, can, you can call it mafia, you can call it whatever you want, but it's, it's definitely a criminal organization. There's no question about it. But it's a criminal organization that has prestige, you know, that, has, that, that, that appears to have, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, class. Class, style. You know, it's like, you know, respected. It's respected. People don't look at it as being a criminal organization. That's what a great job they've done. You know, people look at Alan Greenspan as being a hero. You know, the maestro, you know. What do you think happened with him in the, in the late 60s? He wrote a big section, a chapter for Ayn Rand uh, in a book. And he talked about how horrible the Federal Reserve was. We needed a gold standard. Now the bankers are robbing us. And then they literally came and said, oh, and you see somebody who, who, who made a deal with Beelzebub. Well, you know, exactly. You make a deal with the devil. I mean, it gave him a chance to, uh, to be one of the most powerful men on the earth, you know, and it gave him a chance to accomplish things he never thought he would accomplish in his life other than that. And it's very seductive. You know, it's a very attractive perfume. I mean, I was attracted when they came to me and spoke to me about it. I thought about it. I was attracted to it, you know. They asked me if I wanted to open up these nightclubs, you know, open up a chain of Baywatch nightclubs, you know, and we'll do this thing, we'll do that, and we can do this. And we, I mean, all these things were proposed to me, to business ventures. But I, 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 you know, I... You know what it is? It was your nature, though. You, it just, it's the way you are. You, you couldn't take the deal. Well, I, I can't do that to people. I, I, don't, I, I just can't be in a position where I can do that to other people. I just I have a conscience, and my conscience would not permit me to do that. You know, people say I'm very courageous. I don't think I'm courageous. I think I have a conscience. And uh, my conscience doesn't allow me to take it, to do that to people. I just, it makes me feel sick. You know, I, I just don't believe in it. No, I agree. When I do bad things, I feel bad. When I do good things, I feel good. Yeah, exactly. And I feel the same way. And, and uh, I mean, I don't know what's going to come out of it. I mean, I don't it. have that much money, but I've got some money. I mean, it's like, what more do I need? I can go on a trip if I want. I can help you know, pay for my kids to go to school and be... Have my wife, you know, comfortable. I mean, how do I go out and screw people so I can have some more junk? Well, um, you, you know, money, money, money's a funny thing. You know, I, I was talking to uh, Michael Eisner one day, and I said to Michael, you know, you know, you may have a billion dollars, Michael, but they're all dollars. You know, <laughs> you know, if the dollar goes bad, what, what, how much money are you going to have? You know, and that's the th and that's the thing. You know, you, you know, everything is denominated in dollars. Everybody thinks in terms of dollars. But the dollar has no value. And then someday, it's, it's, you know, everything returns to the mean. Well, really, the whole universe, financial universe we live in, is a matrix fraud. Yes, it is. And that's why it's going to come crashing at some point. And they're going to try and hold up as long as they can. I mean, whenever they want to manipulate the markets, they can. If they want to send the price of gold down lower, they can. If they want to send the stock market up, they can. They do that. There's no more free markets. You don't live in a, you don't live in a society where free markets rule anymore. You don't live in a capitalistic society, you know. But meanwhile, they say it's capitalistic right. and free market all day when really they're waging war financially and politically. Exactly right. Aaron Russo, I want to thank you for this interview. Anything else you want to add? No, I'm happy, I'm happy to do, do it for you. I'm How about your website? My website, freedomtofascism.com. Go over there, take a look at it, you know. But just, folks, you know, all I can say is, you know, take our country back, restore the Constitution, don't let these bankers do this to us anymore. Stand up. Don't be afraid of them. And uh, do what you got to do, you know. And um, I have plans in the works. And uh, when I get over my, my uh, problems, you know, I will, will reveal them, you know. And, well, I'll uh, be supportive of that. Thank you, Alex. And listen, you've done a great job alerting people to the truth. And um, don't, 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 in other words, don't be afraid to be ridiculed by these people. You know, if 9-11 was a phony, and I know it was, then stand up and say it's a phony. Don't be, don't be scared to tell the truth. Don't allow their, um, you know, their, their powers of um, trying to make you look silly uh, to frighten you. What did you think of what Charlie Sheen did? I love what Charlie Sheen did. I was so uh, respectful of what he did. I, was, I, want, I, I just applauded him. People saw no. right through that attack. They like they flipped a light switch when they went after him. Yeah, but you see, but they don't. You see, the thing is that more people don't come out and do it. 
You know, to build that wave. Charlie did it. I'm really proud of the guy. David Lynch did. But, they, but the media was smart and didn't bite this time. The, right. I mean, a few people have, but they're not picking up on it because they control the media. Brolin, James Brolin did on The View. I heard that. I heard that as well. But again, they're not picking Barbara up. Barbara Walters looked like she was about to have a heart attack. But, they're not, but they don't pick up on it, you see. They, 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 don't, they don't allow it to go anywhere. You know, it comes, if someone says something, they let it die. You know, but they keep perpetuating, you know, the war on terrorism. They keep perpetuating all these things that are lies. And uh, because we've given the Federal Reserve the money making power, they control the media, they control the government, and they're all in bed together. So we, we, you're fighting all this propaganda all the time. And it's a very difficult fight. Americans, mobilize. Stand together, stand tall. Tell the government you're mad as hell. No longer cooperate with the government. Do not accept the national ID card. Do everything in your power to restore.